We're now going to take a look at Finger Gym 3 and I particularly love exercises that make my fingers work but also that exercises which establish greater independence in the fingers. Uh, we, we know that if we play scales we lift fingers and put them down again but actually if we're playing G major we lift that finger and it doesn't get used again until D. So I like exercises which actually bring the finger up and down in a fairly swift action and Finger Gym 3 does just that. You will probably hate me for it because it's terribly annoying, it's frustrating because your brain will tell you exactly what you need to do. For example, the interval between the first two notes is a semitone and then it drops down a tone and that's the pattern right the way through the exercise. It's one thing to see it with the eyes, it's another thing for the brain to send the message to the fingers in time for those fingers to be strong enough and quick enough to react. And Finger Gym 3 should go like this.